Okay, I've arrived at my destination. Uh, unfortunately, all the construction is fenced off and I cannot get around it. I've already tried to see if there was a uh, an opening, but no. And then, of course, the no trespassing sign. So now I'm going to have to really um, change my plans at the drop of a hat. Hey, you know, part of being a metal detectorist is you got to be uh, flexible, right? So I'm just going to go to, um, I'll, I'll pan my camera here, and I'm just going to go to the other side of this park as this is a pretty good sized park. So, you know, there we have it. And, uh, well, you know, like I always say, on to the next one. All right, uh, my next uh, find is an e-cigarette and uh, came in as a 62 on the Garrett AT Pro, kind of a surface find. It was under uh, a bunch of grass, so yeah, I'm going to leave that there. I'm not into uh, those types of finds, so all right, on to the next one. Okay, folks, looks like I got my first uh, foreign coin today. Uh, it's a bimetallic coin. It's fairly modern. It's 2006, one euro from Spain, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So kind of a you know a surface find, and um, not uh, I'm just this place is just riddled with pennies and foil, and you know it's just really hard to get a, a good signal when there's so much debris. Uh, I don't have my small coil on, so. Anyway, there you have it, a one euro coin, 2006 from Spain, uh, surface fine. All right, on to the next one. Okay, starting to cloud up. Um, you know, I hope it doesn't rain. I mean, not that the AT Pro can't handle rain, it's just that, uh, man, I hate metal detecting in the rain. Ideally, if I could have it my way, 75 degrees on the beach metal detecting next to the blue water after that a chase lounge my favorite uh, frozen beverage in my hand you know a little reggae music uh, but no no that's just a pipe dream because i live in seattle all right on to the next one all right um i just got an item that uh just stopped my heart and uh, I popped up the plug is about three inches down I was getting uh, just a really really ringing 80 just steady 80 would not move off an 80 and I'm thinking okay either uh, you know either cancel or something like that so um, you know I went ahead and I dug the plug and um, I looked inside and lo and behold well let's take a look at it together all right stand by Okay, I'm just gonna, like I said, I already cut the plug. I'm just gonna go ahead and peel this off. And what do we see here? I'm gonna move that to the side. And I'll go ahead and zoom, zoom in to see um, if you can see what I see. You see that? Yeah. Oh yeah, bracelet, yeah, unfortunately it's not real, I already checked it out, it's a gold plated copper, let's take a, a closer look at it. Let me go ahead and back off the camera here. And it's kind of bent up. Um, again, a bracelet. Yeah, it looks really, really good. Uh, there's nothing written inside of it. And as I got my loop on it, I could see areas of wear. And it looks like it, uh, it's just gold-plated copper. And for a second there, I thought I was on to something. It's been a little bit since I found gold. I have found gold this year. But, uh, yeah, there we go. I'll take it.
All right, on to the next one. Okay, it looks like uh, my next find is uh, some kid bling. Uh, wasn't uh, wasn't very deep. Um, I actually don't know what that is. Looks like you know it's kid bling. What can I say? Thought it was a ring or maybe a charm or something. Rather sparkly. Came up as an 82, about um, an inch down. Well, there you go. Like I keep saying, you never know what you're going to find. All right, on to the next one. Okay, folks, my next one, well, I'll show you. Yeah, little um, bling handcuff, you know. And uh, it's got a little necklace that says Made in China. Um, pretty funny, though, because, um, you know, I don't have the key for it. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of a real funny item. And the good thing was um, that there was something right next to it. And this was a surface find, so along with this, right next to it was standby. Was this a nice Sacagawea dollar? Yeah. Oop, and I lost it. I dropped it. Standby. Yeah, but these two items side by side surface fine very unique combination there again just uh, proves uh, what I've been saying all along you never know what you're gonna find alrighty let's continue on to the next one all right my next one is a ring yeah, um, about two and a half inches down, hitting a 92, 90, 92. Uh, it looks like something for construction. Maybe brass, maybe, I don't know, copper, brass. Some type of, uh, some type of construction material. Well, you know does look like a ring but yeah you know, what can I say should I count it probably not all right on to the next one Wow take a look at my next find oh yeah my heart leapt a couple of beats on that one that's eh, a junker it's coming up as an 83 Looks like it's copper though. Gold plated copper. Alright. On to the next one. Hey, look what I found. A pair of flip flops. Anybody need any flip flops? Hey, they look like a, well, about a size 10 or 11 or so. Just goes to tell you never know what you're gonna find all right on to the next one okay folks looks like I got myself a ring um, about five inches deep um, I don't know if it's real or not it was hitting silver I put it on top of the plug I just popped it up and it just kind of flicked out on top of the plug I haven't even looked at it yet uh, but it was coming up as an 84, 85, and it might have some cheap jewel. It could be cheap. I didn't notice a stone on it. Uh, let's go in and take a look at this. Stand by. Oh, that's in there. This could be junk. It's probably junk. It's 
small. It's actually kind of heavy. to clean it. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to clean it. This could be real. It's heavy as hell. There is something in there, but I don't see it. There's a mark in there. B925. Anyway, let me show you a close-up of what I've got. Let me back off on the camera here. Sorry about that, folks. Hard to work with just one hand. Alright. This is what I got. Uh, it's got a lot of sparkle. I'm not sure if that's real or not, but it does feel heavy, and I do see something in there. Something uh, stamped in there, so... I'll have to get it cleaned up. All right then, on to the next one. Hey folks, um, this is the uh, wrap up. Uh, you got the Hell Deep Digger here and I've got, uh, oh, I've got some stuff. I've got uh, junk. Here's a copper tube, uh, some type of wrapping. I uh, ended up uh, with a sack dollar, and uh, that was pretty nice. That was a good find, about three, four inches down. And, oh, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven clad quarters. About that many dimes, uh, twenty-some-odd uh, pennies, a um, couple of nickels. Um, got this bracelet right here. It's basically uh, gold-plated copper. Um, some bling here, some compression rings. So all in all, you know, for two days, um, not too bad. Um, yeah, so, uh, you know, good hunt. And remember, you never know what you're going to find. All right. He's a hell deep digger, yeah. How deep are you going down today, baby? Hell deep.